All right. I want to start going over some of the things here for the community site framework. Very first tutorial we're going to do here, if you can really call it that, is going to be packages. I'm just going to talk about what they are, what you have to do to build one, how they work within the system, and a few other notes here and there. Now, I'm going to try and do this within 10 minutes. I'd like to do all of these videos within 10 minutes and just have a whole slew of them. We'll see how it goes. Bear with me, it, this is obviously a system that is still under development, so if something breaks, I'm probably going to stop for a second, and it's going to sound weird, but this is all part of the growing, the just the growing process of building a framework. We're going to get through it. Now, because of it being such a young framework, and because of it not being very well tested, anytime you're doing something, if you find yourself having a problem, you probably have a 50-50 chance that it's either going to be you doing something that the system doesn't do yet, wasn't made to do, or needs to be done differently, or it's going to be a flat-out bug. And if it's a bug, you just need to contact me. The only way we find this out is if you actually talk inside the inside the dev channel, so make sure we stay active in there. In front of me, in front of us, uh, we have default installation. You notice that it says test. The way that I have things set up on my system, and I actually do have the repository here with the usual framework and site folders, but I have another ignored folder in it called test that has the, pr the actual framework loaded into it with the most recent export. I do this so that I can do my development separately, but not really that far off. I like it. You don't have to do it, but I highly recommend you do keep your development separate from the framework working, working copy. So, I'm going to go ahead and load up the admin section. And when this eventually loads, we get our beautiful yet worthless login thing. Sign in. No, I don't really want you to remember that. And here we go. We have this over here. This is new. This is actually being generated by the menu system. We'll go over that in a tutorial in just a little while. But for now, we're going to concentrate here. I'm going to make a very quick extension, or very quick package with an extension in it and I see I already have an old version of it installed so while Edipad Pro opens for me to be able to start working I will do this wonderful okay so inside of every package you have to have a package.ini file it's a very simple file we go like this, and then we're going to save it. There's a few things that are required. We're going to call this the, give this the key. The key is basically what it uses to associate itself with various things like the database. The name is the actual friendly name of it. Author, well, that would be me. Description is just kind of a one liner. URL is just kind of a URL for information. Do the version as a string, remember, PHP doesn't really care. And there is one more that we can use, we'll get into that in a later tutorial, but it's called the base extension, and it tells the system what extension it needs to be using in order to be, uh, in order to operate. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a PHP file. And I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this inside of the folder hierarchy that you should know well by now that this is associated with N2F. We're going to call this admin pkg.x.php. And what do you know? We get what we need here. Just to show that this does work, I am going to add something only in the administration. 
to the main content location. And that's it. That's our package for the moment. Uh, now, again, I'm just showing you all of this just to get things started very simply here. Go ahead, zip this up into a file, and we should be able to install that file. without any problems. We have no package installed right now, but as soon as I do this, successfully installed 1.0 Andrew Mail admin package. You'll see if you look down at the bottom here, it does say it's going to Chameleon Sites. That's as we put in the URL. But you know what, we'd like to activate this. And there we go. Now to make sure that it's working, and go to admin home and look there's something there not very useful of course because well it's not real content now a few notes about all of this um, when you're doing package development the hardest thing to keep track of is going to be making sure that you un you know which files you have created for your package this is difficult because the one thing we have kind of strayed away from doing is separating out the plugins as far as the directory structure goes and separating the package of packages as far as directory structure goes. Um, this is kind of our way of saying that we love N2F. We're doing this to stick with the N2F theme. Now, whenever you install a package, figure out where I am here. This part of the package is very important. Now that this package is installed, I am not able to install it on top of itself. And that reasoning is because, the reason for that is because it actually keeps track of what files come from where. And if it sees a file conflict, it'll say, hey, that file doesn't work. Now since we tried installing the same, uh, the same package over top of it, it said that a new or identical version of the package, blah, 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 blah. So what we can do, just to demonstrate, I can go in here, change this to 1.1, and become a little bit more formal. Get rid of the old zip. Do a new zip. And what we should see happen is it will upgrade we should see hello mother down at the bottom after a refresh and it is actually going to deactivate the package and the reason we went with that was just to make sure that if you accidentally install something you didn't mean to you don't have to pay for it immediately so there we go 1.1 if we refresh this we'll see that okay it's in, it is now Go. Well, that's not right, but I'm sure that's just the awesome caching problem that I have on this machine. Um, other things to keep in mind. Oh, uh, you'll notice that I keep kind of refreshing the page after I do everything. Oh, there's Hello Mother. Uh, the reason for that is because the system is unable to pull out the pull in or pull out the package while it's doing this job. So that's important to realize if you need them to, you're going to need to come up with some way to have force them to refresh the page if it's really that important to, for, to your package's operation. Next up I'm going to be talking about the content locations and the menu locations a little bit more and just kind of showing how that comes together and how it's useful to you as a package developer.